Hello and welcome to Dashman Sib. I'm Sebastian Tulin, motoring journalist and mechanical engineer. Because Cape Town is the windy city, we're inside the car today because it's like a gale force wind outside with 80 km wind, so I'm safe inside here. Surprisingly, the Renault Capture that we're testing this week has got really great road handling ability in the windy conditions. Most cars you'll find on the road tend to get blown around from side to side. This car, however, is really, really stable and secure, firm-footed on the road. We're driving the Renault Dynamique Capture, which is a 1.2 liter turbocharged engine. We've got the four cylinder, which produces 88 kilowatts and 205 Newton meters of torque. Also comes in a slightly smaller uh, 66 kilowatt range, which is a 900 cc three cylinder engine producing 190 Newton meters of torque. Starting price of the three cylinder entry level model um, is at 230,000 and the model we're driving here today 295,000 which is the same price as the 1.5 uh, diesel common rail injection version as well the DCI which also is turbocharged. Then you also have the EDC option which is the dual clutch um, transmission with the automatic gearbox. Today we've got the uh, six-speed manual which is the 1.2 liter turbo and that's the dynamic model everything inside here creature comforts that you need you've got cruise control you've got nav you've got bluetooth phone uh, connectivity you've got uh, usb aux all the stuff you've got climate control uh, automatic light sensors automatic rain sensors keyless entry just everything that a modern car has start stop technology the robots push start button to go keyless entry i mean it's everything that you need in the car it's just really up to date uh, the ride handling in here as i mentioned is just sure footed it's comfortable on the road the fuel economy is great 5.4 liters per hundred i've averaged around seven in my city driving the past week and it's just a really great looking car on the outside some people say the renault capture is a bit of a girl look but hey I really dig the styling. I'd buy this car. You know, it's it's a fantastic little thing. We had the Clio GT line on test a few weeks back, and that car was just as sporty and nippy in uh, responsiveness to this car. The turbo really kicks in quite early from around 1,750 RPM, just to give you that real sporty feel. Probably the only gripes I can say about the Renault Capture that don't really tickle my fancy are the fact that we've got the volume control and the mode for the radio on a little indicator stalk here behind the steering wheel which is not really easy to find if you don't know where it is it took me a couple of days to figure it out actually I'm used to the controls being here accessible on the steering wheel the other thing I'm not really a fan of in the manual gearbox is the gear changes aren't really smooth when you're going fast not to say that you're going to be going too fast but you need to really make a smooth gear change to get some kind of kind of comfortable drive Otherwise, it becomes very jerky and very kind of, you know, not really smooth. The car is just great all around. A lot of headroom, lots of legroom, plenty of space on the back seats. You also get a decent sized boot. Really worthwhile having a look. It's just a gorgeous looking car all around. I really just thoroughly enjoy my time with the Renault. Do yourself a favor and go check it out at the dealer and go for a test drive. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.